Judge Ross. Betty Gordson claims she didn't have the best time at her high school reunion because of unexpected construction at the venue. Ms. Gordson is suing Paul Willington in the amount of $428. Mr. Willington claims he scheduled the construction work during the day so he wouldn't disturb the hotel guests and says Ms. Gordson was the only one who complained. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties are sworn, Your Honor. Sir, get up and tell us. Ms. Gordon, you didn't have a good stay at Mr. Willington's hotel. No, I did not, Your Honor. And now you want him to pay $420. That was the actual amount that he would have previously charged you for the four days. That is correct. And it was four days, three nights, correct? That is correct. How is it that you ended up being at this establishment to begin with? Well, I'm an event coordinator yes, ma'am. for Lamar High School, and I was planning our 25th reunion. High school reunion? High school reunion, mm-hmm. yes, in Houston, Texas. So I went online, started looking at different resorts, Yes. Um, and I came up with um, Ellison Resort. Mm-hmm. And it looked pretty good. Um, the rate was decent. Uh, the activities were really nice. It was things that I knew that we could participate in. And it looks like the... Um, the rooms, the banquet halls, because we were going to have... They a, had everything you wanted. Everything that I wanted, yeah. That's not a coincidence, Mr. Williams. Yeah, I no. take it that, that you, you all spend a lot of time and energy making sure that... We pride ourselves on that. Your location is desirable. How long have you been in the business of operating? Well, my, my dad retired a few years ago, uh, mm-hmm. Kenny Wellington, and so I've been in charge. Uh, I'm the owner for about the last three years or so. All right. And what rate did you quote her? I quoted her a rate of $107. Per night. Right. Our, now, our normal rate is 210 Any particular reason why you cut off $103? Well, we, we negotiated a, a great rate because she uh, was promising a, a lot of people coming to this event. How many people were we talking about? 70. 70? Yeah. So you get there, and was it all that you thought it would be? No, it was not, Your Honor. What was wrong? I did tell Mr. Willington that I needed an extra night because I needed to be there uh, to plan all the um, the decorations. What day staff. did you come in? I came in on a Thursday. And all the festivities and activities were taking place Friday through Friday, Sunday. Right, and everything went smoothly. So, and then that Friday, um, that morning when I got up, there was a note under the door and it indicated that there was going to be construction between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. But when I started doing everything and then I said, well then afterwards I'm going to go and take a nap because it's, I have a lot to do, Your Honor. And right. I'm very particular about the way things are run. Well, let's talk about the construction. What was going on there, sir? After Ms. Gordon checked in on Thursday, yes, uh, I had my maintenance people come to me telling me that we needed to have some uh, work on the pipes done the next day. So immediately I prepared a communication to go out to all the rooms in the hotel, mm-hmm. went under the door, on Thursday night, so that they would know that night or the next morning at the latest. So your first night there was no problem. You enjoyed. You checked in. Thursday. I would imagine you, ch- you checked in Thursday afternoon. Right. From yes. Thursday afternoon to Friday morning, no problem. Right. No problem. You get this note under your door, and then you're saying, "Oh, okay, I gotta sort of work around this inconvenience." Absolutely. All right. Let me go back to you, Mr. Wellington. So the note is passed under the door. You let people know four o'clock we should be good. Essentially saying that there was going to be, uh, if they noticed any noises in different parts of the hotel mm-hmm. during the course of the day, this is what was going on. Okay. I had no complaints at all during the course of the day. At about 3.45, I had construction people come to me saying that there was an emergency. Basically, they'd had a pipe burst. It was something that was uh, unexpected and they needed another couple of hours to work on this to make sure that we didn't have an incredibly uh, bad problem in the hotel. Were you in that area? Yes. But I thought you said you were gonna you weren't going to be there. Well, no, that was during the earlier part of the day because so, I was, you know. So if there was noise going on between 9 and 4, you didn't hear it. Right, right, because I wasn't in the room. I was getting everything together, the dirt decorations. I was talking to my staff gotcha. about, you know, the meal mm-hmm. that was going to be served. The nap was going to come in between. At, after 4 o'clock. From 4, From four to maybe about 7 because once I got there, Your Honor, at 4 o'clock I heard a knock, 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 knocking sound. So then I said, okay, well, maybe it was in and out. I said, okay, I, maybe, because I was really exhausted at that point, and I just said, I'll just lie here, and maybe it'll go away. At 5 o'clock, it was even louder. So then I said, okay, so I called downstairs, and I talked with one of the clerks, and I said, you know, um, the construction.